All right, so we have finished syncing our repository. It has checked out all of this material, which once again we now see visually displayed in our Lineage 17 folder. And uh, so, you know, as we went over that repo sync um, process, while we were there, we didn't look at something called local manifest uh, because we didn't need it yet. Um, at this point, at this stage, we followed all the regular steps, and this is what we have. And so here you have uh, these manifests, which is the default manifest, which has all the things for lineage that get downloaded. This we did look at last time. What I want to show us now is notice that if we go here and we go to device and we look at, at device just in general, there's no Sony at all. And we're going to build the Sony XA2 uh, or Sony Xperia XA2 Ultra, which means we somehow need to get that in here. Well, fortunately for us, I do believe it's one of the supported devices for uh, lineage. But let's check it out. So the next steps for building would be to dot build environment setup. We hit enter on that and now our environment is set up and ready for the build. So if we lunch, it's going to take it a second here as it goes out and fetches all the different uh, combinations that are available for us to build. And we see here that it has uh, some AOSP ARM stuff, some car stuff, some lineage stuff, and mini and all that sort of thing. None of these are the devices that we want. Okay, Our device is not listed on this listing. However, if we went back to lineage 16, it actually would be listed here, and we would just pick it from the list. That doesn't mean we still can't build it. So the code name for my device is Discovery. So for instance, what I would do is lunch lineage underscore discovery dash and in this case I'll say uh, I'll say user debug okay but uh, typically if you're building something for the very very first time you would say dash eng to make sure that you could uh, you know start working through some of the problems that you're probably gonna have so if I say lineage discovery user debug. I hit enter. And it says error. It cannot locate the make file for that. But then after it says this error, it starts looking to see, hey, if I check Lineage OS, I'm attempting to retrieve the device repository. So I'm going to check Lineage OS. I'm going to look for Android device Sony discovery. And I found it. And its uh, revision is Lineage 17.0. I could use that. So it starts downloading it. And so here it is, it's going through the process of downloading it. And then it also decides, okay, once it found that, it says, hey, does it have any dependencies? And it says, oh yeah, it's uh, syncing dependencies using default branch. Well, I guess I should scroll up a little bit more here. So repository synced, and then looking for dependencies in discovery and it's like hey does this thing say it depends on anything and it says oh yeah adding dependence to the manifest now it's checking to see if device Sony Nile common is available so it says hey I have this dependency of Nile common so then it goes out and looks for that hey I found it alright and now it goes and downloads that and then it says hey does that have any dependencies so, oh yeah it has a couple let's go download those and do they have any dependencies and it keeps going and working its way through so now all of a sudden we see in the device folder we have the Sony. And here we have Discovery, now common. We also see if we go back to our repo folder, we now have local manifests. Now some uh, might call this room service. Uh, yep, here it is, room service. So you open this local manifest and it says room service and if we look at that room service XML it says hey I need this discovery and then it added now common and then it said hey you need this kernel and then it says you need this hardware and this hardware and now 
uh, it, it's going through and fetching all of those things. So pretty handy how it goes ahead and goes out and gets that for you. At the same time, I've done quite a few videos on it, and we're going to do some videos later, I'm sure, where we look at how could we make our own local manifest and uh, download things that we need. So room service is kind of nice. Uh, some people have asked me before what's the difference between a local manifest and a room service. For instance, you might have a local manifest.xml file in here. The only difference is, is what they named it. Uh, it does the exact same thing. A room service is technically like it sounds, room service for a hotel, where it's like, oh, we'll go get that for you. Uh, it's just something they've built into the uh, source code for whatever ROM you're building to go out, look for the appropriate files that you need, download them, and uh, and then you'd be ready to build. So, all right. So it went through and did all of that, and then it came out with these errors. So the error is vendor Sony now common now common vendor dot make does not exist. So it's like, oh well, let's go look. All right, vendor, and there is no Sony folder. So how can we take care of that? Well, uh, that's really pretty simple. If we go back, look at our repo our local manifest and our room service branch here we notice that there's nothing in here for uh, for the vendor files so there's a couple different ways we can handle this we could add the manifest that we need to here to download that um, or we could uh, you know just download it directly either way works out very fine uh, now with that well, I suppose there's actually three ways. And that's fine. Start a new session. So typically where you would get that would be uh, if we go to GitHub, the Muppets. The Muppets is just one of the most famous places to get uh, your vendor binary large objects because they've done a lot of the brute force work for you of downloading everything. Uh, and we see if we go through here, we can scroll through all of them, or we can just type Sony. And look, we have proprietary vendor Sony. We click on that. Lineage 17 is the latest revision. And we see Discovery right there. So this is what we need. So we could. No, oh, well, that's odd. <laughs> My uh, connection got lost. Hold on. All right cut it back. Uh, sorry about that. The um, We could uh, just download this straight up from here. Proprietary vendor Sony. We just click clone or download. We download that zip. You could get get clone to uh, grab it here. Uh, that would work just as well. Um, you know, just to have that. Uh, also, you could add it to your manifest that we saw in here such as oh sorry open let me grab the open one there we go so we could add it in here and say let's see there's what we're looking for we'll make another one of these projects copy paste and we'll say this part right here, the Muppets proprietary vendor Sony and we put that right there and we say path is going to be vendor Sony remote from GitHub and there we go so we could do this and then we simply have to synchronize that and it would go through and fetch that for us 
take just a second here because most everything else has just been fetched. It should be pretty fast. So we'll minimize that one. This one we'll go back and we'll go to vendor. So while we're waiting for that to download, of course, like I said, we could have just downloaded it as a file, as a zip file, extracted it, and physically placed it right here. We could have added it to the local manifest like I just did, and resynchronize and uh, grab it there. Uh, or the third method is actually we could go to our device tree, go to Sony, go to Discovery, and we could run this extract files dot shell. So what we would do from here uh, is actually we would set our phone to ADB and uh, and run this extract files dot shell. Well, first we'd run setup make files dot shell and then extract files dot shell, and that would actually uh, download it from the phone and put it all in the right place. Now, it may not have all the right stuff uh, depending on which version of software or firmware you have on there. Um, it'll be all the right things based on the list that they had, uh, but depending which list that might have been for a different particular firmware version, so you may have to edit that list, and that list is based off of proprietary files.txt. So these files right here are what it will go and get from the phone. Uh, it's really handy though, the Muppets have done this already. That's how they got uh, the um, the repository that we're downloading right now. So this is going to take a, a few minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, pause the video here and we'll pick this back up as soon as it is done. All right, so we can see now that our vendor Sony file has arrived after it's done checking out all of the all the files here. And uh, so adding it to the manifest like we just did is a really good way to do things as far as making sure that every time you repo sync, you're going to get the latest version of whatever has been put out. So now we're ready for the build. So we could double check to make sure that our environment is still set up. No harm in doing that, although it was already set. And then we can launch that lineage discovery user debug and we should see this. Let me make this a little bigger so we can see that that's ready. So uh, another command that we could run here is brunch to allow that to uh, actually build. So brunch lineage discovery user debug. We hit that and there it goes. It's going to start compiling and getting all of the uh, build rules sorted out and to start the build itself. So let's take a look real quick. We have our kernel for our Sony right here. We have our vendor files for our Sony right here. And we have our device tree for our Sony discovery right there. So hopefully that was uh, helpful in how you can add things to your own manifest and how you can uh, download or get it to use room service to go look for the files that you need. This only works if your device is already in the, for instance in this case, in the lineage repositories and that it has a current version uh, that's needed. Notice that this is 17.0, so if, you're, if your device is in the lineage repository tree but the last version it has was 16, then it's actually going to give you a failure here. And uh, there are ways around that using, um, you know, uh, exporting a room service branch for backups and that sort of thing, which I, I do believe I have videos on that as well. Uh, maybe someday we'll run across that again and we can we can cover that here as well. But hopefully that was helpful for you. We're going to uh, catch this after the build is done and look at uh, the difference of how we flash this to our device as opposed to how we did it with AOSP. So looking forward to that and see you on the, uh, the back side.